Um, South Africa is one of the contentious countries because to the world it represents a developing country, it represents this country that is moving forward and yet if you come for real and you see the reality you actually see that South Africa is still far off. If you look at the stats you see that the inequalities are still high. At the same time people look at South Africa and like look they're the country that I've just gone through a democracy and a great example but at the same time we're failing in many areas. So I think we do have something to show. I think our people as well are different because of the history that we've been through. You often hear when people come, they're like, they've never come to a country where everyone is smiling, regardless what situation they're going to. And people see resilience also in South Africa. Um, you often hear people say, in my country, if people were going through what South Africans are going through, they wouldn't be able to make it. But when we come to South Africa, we see resilience and that is inspiring and that is motivating. Cape Town was a really emotional journey and we finally got the insight of what social entrepreneurship it really is. Since we visited a lot of local small social enterprises who are now starting and we saw that to tackle down the social issues you need eagerness, you need enthusiasm and you need the willingness. Also they have a really good and supportive ecosystem and fundings and possibility possibilities for the social uh, entrepreneurship but the most important thing is this there is a willingness among the people so they have the creativity and that's how they are tackling down the, the, the major issues that they are facing on a daily basis. For me it's like a, it's a kind of life changing experience. I didn't expect it at all. I mean, I was reading a bit the history of South Africa. However, you know, reading about apartheid, about the situation from the books, is not the same what you see and what when you talk with the people. And, and uh, well, the most touching thing is, is this contact itself, you know? It's not, we, we didn't come here as a tourist. We, we didn't come here just to watch some tourist attraction, but we are actually integrated with, with locals. We are discussing with them, with drivers, with passengers, uh, with people in a hospital, with people in um, townships. I mean, for me, visiting a township is incredible uh, experience already. This I have never seen before because in Slovenia, social entrepreneurship is very developed, but no one is talking about um, you know, this side of social entrepreneurship we saw here and it's really open eyes, uh, it's open eyes to ev every one of us to see um, different side of it and maybe to come back with a lot more knowledge. All of the things we saw were very um, emotional because uh, we can see the people are very proud of what they are and are trying to fit in some system that is not working really for them but they are doing it and also they are very they inspired very powerful um, very self-going and uh, self-aware um, more than the people in Europe so it was very great to see people people who are that inspired to do better in their society Empathy. Powerful. Okay, it would be a surprise. It would be a big surprise. <laughs>
for me, actually. I would say compassion, compassion building because I think oftentimes as change makers, we get so used to and we get mechanical with the work that we do and the development work that we do because we know I'm doing policies, I know I'm doing youth development, I know I'm learning leadership programs and you actually lose meaning and you lose the aliveness of what you're actually doing. So I think coming into spaces where you can get out of your nine to five, get out of your usual reality and step into a completely new reality helps to build you in a different way and helps you to build compassion. And when you have that compassion, you're able to look at the work that you're doing and do it differently.